Today I will show you one really easy and interesting effect in Photoshop that you just saw on my thumbnail. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another fun episode. Today we will have a lot of fun creating this really easy but really interesting effect in Photoshop that you can later use for anything that you want. I will show you how you can apply it on a human face to create something like a meta-human and then you can use it forever you want, you can even put it on a wall if you like it. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Right guys, for this episode I will use this male portrait right here, but you can use any image that you want. And just one tip before we start, for this effect, because it's effect based on creating a light on a human face or anything else that you want, it's better to use darker images, because the light is better visible on a darker background, that is obvious of course. So let's do this. Right, first thing that we need to do here is to make sure that our colors are set to default values to black and white. And the easiest way to do that is just to press D on a keyboard to reset them to default values like this and that's it. Now let's create a new empty layer and let's go to filter, render and clouds. Let's render some random clouds and we are halfway there. So next step is to go again to filter, render, but this time we'll go to difference clouds and we are almost done. Let's just move uh, actually to uh, change the blending mode from normal to color dodge and we already have some kind of effect right here. The next step is just to repeat that uh, previous filter. So let's go again to filter, render and different clouds or I have a keyboard a shortcut key here, control or command F for last use filter and that's it. If you don't like this, you can always undo like control command Z and then redo that, again apply that filter if you don't like the effect, again re undo, then redo and so on and so forth and probably this is something that I, I like here, I will leave it. But there is another way how you can tweak this, you can always move this layer left and right, up and down, rotate it, scale it, do whatever you want, you can rotate it maybe like this, then even scale it, if this is something that you are up to. So. Basically a lot of combinations for making this effect on a face to look exactly like you want. So let me see. This is not bad. I like this, I'll scale it a little bit and maybe go to right click and warp and just warp it, warp it like, like this. And let me see. This is all a matter of tweaking, guys. So maybe I like it this way, so I will press OK. But if you don't like some parts of the face, you can duplicate this layer and uh, use the layer mask, like let me show you just quickly. Press or Control Command J, duplicate, hide the other one and move this. Maybe I want on the chin to have, actually not on the chin, but under the chin on the neck, I want another effect like this. Maybe I just want this line here and I will press OK. Now I will put a layer mask here, but I will put a black layer mask. To do that, just press and hold Alt or Option key and click on the layer mask. That's it. Reveal another layer. Put the black layer mask again by holding Alt or Option key and click on the layer mask. And that's it. Now you can use brush, really soft one, 0% hardness, and you want to use white color and just reveal with 100% opacity parts of the face where you want this effect to be applied. I want here the nose, this part of the face and here. And now for the neck, I want second part. So this, this is nice. And let me see if I want something here. If not, I'll just leave it like this. Actually, this is okay. So guys, this is it. You can always tweak it again. You can unlink the chain icon here between the layer and the mask and you can always move this if you don't like how, look, how it looks right now. So maybe you want something else, but I'm really satisfied how this looks. Let's unzoom it. Yeah, this is really, really nice. So we are done. We are basically done with this effect. Now let's tweak it even further. We can go and merge both of those layers together by pressing, selecting both of them and pressing Ctrl or Command E on keyboard and then again put it back into a color dodge blending mode. And now let's create a new layer in between those two layers. I will rename it to color 
because we'll paint some color on that layer and use a brush, really soft one and choose any color you want. I'll choose a blue one for a start, but we can always change the color. With maybe 20% opacity, I will just paint with the blue here, like this. And let me see a little bit here on the nose. And this is not bad. We have some problem here, but actually it's interesting like this too. So we can paint even more color to emphasize the effect. Let's zoom it. This is really, really cool. But now you can play with the hue and saturation adjustment layer and change the color, or you can add, uh, uh, you can change the blending mode of this color layer to have a little bit different effect. So we can put this into a color dodge. You have slightly different effect. You can put it in overlay for a really soft effect. You can even go and put it into divide. Now we will have opposite colors, like inverted colors. So we'll have orange. This is nice. We can lower the opacity of this. As you can see like this before and after, this is just something that I really like. We can go and add hue and saturation adjustment layer in between and clip it to affect only color layer. And we can now tweak, tweak the colors, add a little bit more saturation. We can add even a new maybe color balance adjustment layer, clip it to affect only the color layer. And you can add as many layers to tweak those things. So we can go and tweak this a little bit so that's it maybe highlights like like this just a little bit and this is before and after before and after this part of the chain looking better with this adjustment and so on and so forth now you can maybe merge everything together if you if you are done with the effect or you can add another layer at the top of everything let's add a new empty layer and put it into color dodge blending mode and sample with the brush tool, sample some orange color by pressing and holding alt or option key and just click to sample some, maybe this one is okay. And now with 10 or 20% opacity, just add those brightness. Let's use 20% opacity and just add this a little bit to make this brighter if you like this. If you know, don't like this, you can skip this step. And this is basically, guys, unlimited, unlimited game. You can tweak this as much as you want. Okay, and probably I'm done with this. So now I will merge everything together with Shift Control Alt T or Shift Command Option E on a Mac. Go to Filter, Camera Row, and just color grade it a little bit. Add a little bit of the contrast and clarity. Actually, I can lower the contrast and add even more clarity for that dramatic effect. A little bit of the haze and vibrance, lower the situation. Go to uh, vignetting, add a little bit of vignetting and then sharpen it just a touch like this. And then we can even go and add a little bit bluish tint to our shadows. And I like to add yellowish, actually greenish tint the highlights like this and then I can go and boost the saturation of orange color this is really interesting maybe a little bit of the red and that's it maybe hue change the hue more towards the red and let me see was the blacks a little bit and that's it I'll press ok and you will see now before and after those tweakings before and after so this is before everything and this is with that effect like a meta human transformation effect it's something burning inside him and want to go out or you can imagine anything else all right guys that's basically it for this episode i really hope that you like it and that you learn something new out of it this is really easy effect to create and it's really fun to apply to your images and the application for this effect is basically unlimited only limitation it's your imagination so have fun practice experiment and make some interesting photos with this effect if you have any questions regarding to this episode please leave them in the comments below i will be glad to answer them and if you want to help me to make this channel even bigger and better you can do it by visiting my patreon page the link is down there in the description and of course you will get some things in return 
Subscribe if you're not already, ring that bell to get notified about all the future episodes and if you appreciate this one, press that like button because it actually matters, you will help the channel. Thank you guys and see you in the next fun episode. Bye bye.